Kabbalan is the Director of Political Studies at the Arab Center for Research and Policy Studies. Let's speak to him. He joins us from Doha. Marwan, I mean, for Mohammed bin Salman to uh, be reported to be ready to lay charges against the former Crown Prince, hardly surprising from what we know about how Mohammed bin Salman works. What's your understanding about how this is going to go now? It's not a surprise uh, at all. In, uh, I think uh, I think uh, Mohammed bin Salman is trying to discredit uh, uh, former Crown Prince and preparing the stage actually to charge him with uh, corruption. Uh, Mohammed, uh, Mohammed bin Naif uh, was for many years seen as the most serious threat to Mohammed bin Salman uh, as he prepared to ascend to, to, the, to, the, to the throne. So I believe that was widely expected, especially after he was detained last March and uh, 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 with, with other, with, uh, with other uh, uh, senior uh, uh, officials from the royal family. So uh, I think we are all actually waiting for him to be charged and maybe indicted by corruptions and other uh, accusations. Can you tell us what's not being reported in the Western media? What information do you have about how Mohammed bin Salman is going about consolidating his own position in terms of how much opposition there is to him within the senior circles of the Saudi royal family and how he's dealing with that? It's very difficult to know because, as you know, uh, the Saudi royal family on Saudi domestic politics is very much like a black box. It's very difficult actually to get um, uh, credible information from inside. But we all know now that Mohammed bin Salman has been consolidating his power over the past actually five years since his father became king in early 2015. He has actually full control over the security apparatus, over the army, over the National Guard, and over the Ministry of Interior, in which Mohammed bin Naif actually uh, was in charge for many, many years, and his father before him. So I think now, uh, most of us actually believe that Mohammed bin Salman believes that Mohammed bin Naif is still a threat to him because there might be many people still loyal to him, especially at the Ministry of Interior. And I think he is uh, trying actually to push as, as far as he possibly could in order to discredit the man and eliminate him completely uh, as a competitor for, for the throne. So uh, basically, this is the way Mohammed bin Salman is working and has been working for the past five years, eliminating all sorts of threats actually to his authority. How much more urgent does the situation become given that the uh, king has been admitted to hospital? It's reported that the royal family is quite relaxed about it, that it's possibly a gallbladder infection, that it's not a life-threatening situation. But given the king's age, how much more urgency is there in the project that Mohammed bin Salman is engaged in? I think the uh, the illness of the king, the sudden illness of the king, is not the issue uh, here because, as you said, this is not life-threatening uh, uh, illness. Uh, I think uh, the most important issue right now for Mohammed bin Salman is uh, the U.S. elections. I think he's trying to uh, uh, he's he's like in race uh, in order to uh, establish his authority even further before. Uh, possible departure of President Trump from power. We all know that President Trump uh, uh, chances to be re-elected has been actually reduced uh, a lot over the past few, few months, especially because of his poor handling of the coronavirus uh, issue in the United States. So most people now think that President Trump is not, it's not, it's not a guarantee, it's not guaranteed that he will be re-elected. And President Trump has been um, the, the main backer of the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman uh, internationally. So I think Mohammed bin Salman right now is trying to uh, to gain time in order to establish his authority before any possible departure of the of the U.S. president. And we all know that Joe Biden actually has not been very friendly, at least in his in some of his statements towards Saudi Saudi Arabia. That might be actually concern Mohammed bin Salman more than the illness of his father. Marwan Kabbalan, thank you so much, Marwan, for your time. Really appreciate the analysis.